it's Papa Crescendo here with another very informative video for all of you who drink coffee. These are the best two Nespresso coffees that are available, easily available to get on Amazon to get. I've tried so many, this is the best. Number one is the Lavazza Espresso. Check it out. I just make regular coffee with it, but an incredible coffee with this espresso, and I'll show you how to make it um, with the Nespresso machine or any espresso machine, and very inexpensive. We're gonna get into the uh, DeLonghi machine that I do have, and also the Illy Roast is incredible, and you can get these for about four to five dollars a can if you buy them by the case. Incredible coffee. Guys, I highly recommend it, and let's get into this video and show you how to make the best cup of coffee in the morning that will get you going with this espresso roast. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make the best coffee in the morning using this DeLonghi machine. You can also use an espresso machine, okay, with the pods. And if you look at my other videos, you will be able to see how to hack the pods. And, um, the other thing is I'm gonna make a coffee that's a keto uh, iced coffee uh, for a lot of you out there doing keto and uh, wanna know how to make the best iced frappuccino or iced coffee, this is also gonna be a great video for you. So the first thing I wanna show you about this machine is that you can't use a regular cup because, see I'm just gonna grab this random cup here and uh, as you can see, you can't get it under the Espresso, espresso machine, the espresso machine. Now you could use a cup like this, uh, life is better with a dog cup, and it slips right under perfectly. So make sure that your cups um, are gonna be the right size to get in there. The first thing we're gonna do is just turn this uh, to the on position. It's a really cool machine. This machine you can get at Costco for like $150 or something like that, $140. Much cheaper than the Nespresso machine. And it's pretty cool, I'll just show you a couple things. Uh, this is where you put the water in. Comes with a um, half of a half a cup um, portion for the uh, espresso, and then the full, which I already have in here. Actually, let me pull this out. It's pretty easy, you just turn it, it comes right off. Probably should have moved the cup first. And uh, this is from this morning's coffee, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out. Okay guys, so you can see here, uh, this is how you're gonna clean this out. It's pretty easy, I just grab a, a napkin, paper towel or something, and just dig it out. Whoa, that's really hard, why is it so hard? Normally not that hard, but anyway. Just start digging it out like that. Okay, and it comes off pretty easy. Um, if, you, if you bang it too hard, this whole piece could come off, so. I like just to do that, like that. And then I'll show you how this piece comes off. See that? This is for a double, uh, a, a double espresso. And the other one I showed you was for the single. I just leave the double in there and you can just do a single if you want uh, with one scoop or do the two scoops like I normally do. For coffee I use two, two scoops and do a full cup. So that's how you can clean it out, hose that out in the sink and that's it. So I'll leave that on for now. Now let's go rinse this out. And by the way, right there you can see some Magic Spoon cereal, the best keto cereal out there. And uh, let me know if you want a video on that. That cereal is incredible, and it's only got three net carbs per bowl. Okay, just hose this out like that. Clean it out. And that's ready to roll, dry it off. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, fill this up. Um, this. Um, espresso machine uh, comes with this really cool nifty uh, scooper with the little presser thing. Uh, what I love about the Illy is, check this out, it's a really cool can, twist can. You can actually use this can for something else. I always hate throwing these out because uh, they're just such great, great cans. Look at that. Versus the uh, Lavazza which just has, you know, this little top that comes off. But anyway, Billy's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna do the double. So the first thing we're gonna do, you don't wanna overfill it, that's very key. So that's about right, as you can see right there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pour that in here. I like to pour it over here just in case I spill. So I just put it in there. And then we'll do another one. Make sure you don't overfill, so that's pretty good. 
So you, so if you see that, okay. I'm gonna pour that right on top. Hi, Dad. Hi, Kylie. We're, we're live on set right now. And then I'm just gonna press this real easy. So you don't wanna press it too hard, just a little bit like this. Okay. So it's nice and firm like that. See that? Okay, we're all ready to go. Kind of made a little bit of a mess there, but look how easy this is. I just put it in. Boom, done. Okay, so I bought this at Costco, and this ready light never turns on. It's supposed to turn green. That's when you know when to go. But if you just listen to the machine, it doesn't take long, maybe like 40 seconds to heat up, and then it's ready to go. So all you gotta do is put your cup in there. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect setup. Okay, so let me show you how to do the perfect keto coffee. And of course you can do this any which way you want. If you like sugar, use sugar. But for the keto, you're gonna to wanna to use the monk fruit sweetener, which is the best, the best sweetener there is for keto. Okay guys, I've tried it all. Way better than erythritol, way better than stevia. I use one tablespoon of monk fruit. Boom, done. Just keep it in there. So you can get this at Costco too. And then, Heavy whipping cream is my cream. Why use half and half when you can use full, full, 100%. So we use the cream, pour that in there, you know, as much as you like. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. I didn't bring my spoon here, but basically you're gonna stir it up and then put it under there and go ahead and turn this to the brew right there. So you can see that pour, that delicious. Come on, focus, focus. That delicious pour right there. And you can just let that pour until your cup is full. The one thing about this machine is you have to shut it off. It's not like the Nespresso machine that shuts off by itself. So when it gets full, go ahead and just put it back to on. You don't have to um, wait for the ready light, which doesn't work on mine, um, to start another. You can immediately reload it and put it back in and do another cup. And of course, if you want to do an espresso shot, uh, you certainly could do that. Um, and you know, you can do a double or a single espresso shot if you want. Okay, so this thing does tend to drip a bit after, so I always like to keep my machine clean. So I'll just do this and put a little paper towel there, towel down because it does tend to continue to drip a little bit and I like to keep the machine clean. Um, so with the frother, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is turn it over here to the frother uh, part and then uh, put your milk or cream or half and half in here and you just uh, you, If you want cappuccino you push it down if you just want hot milk, then you can push it uh, up So usually you're gonna go down for the cappuccino and then um, all you do is do that and there it goes do that. And you just steam it and you just kind of go up and down like this for about 20 seconds or so until it's frothy and you like it and um, that's pretty much it, and then just shut it off. So that's how you do that. And then, I messed up my video, so I took my coffee that I had and I put it on top of ice, and there's your iced coffee. So it's all done, it's perfect, it's wonderful, and um, that's how you make a, an iced coffee that tastes just like Starbucks, actually better than Starbucks. This coffee is killer. So I highly recommend this machine, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will definitely uh, respond. Make sure to share this video, hit the like button, it helps the YouTube algorithm. And uh, I'll be back with more informative videos. Thanks a lot guys and have a great day, God bless you.